Hey everybody, welcome back. So I got this um, sign, I guess it is, a sign or a shelf setter um, from Goodwill for $2.99. Looks like it was originally $14. Bucks. Um, I'm definitely willing to pay $2.99 for a really great big surface like this. So first I'm going to cover this up with some undercover primer from Paint Pixie. This is the Undercover primer in coconut. That might be too much. <laughs> we'll see. That may have poured out a little fast. And then I've got the short stop. No, nope, you know what? That might be perfect. So I'm going to cover this with probably two coats because of the black underneath. I'm thinking about doing black on the side, so I just kind of wiped up the, the drip. Um, I might just do black, full black sides. But I'm gonna see how this, this turns out. So I'm gonna dry this, and then, you know what, I might as well just, there's a lot on the brush right now, so I might as well just use that. And then if I decide to go over it with black paint, it'll just go over it with black paint, right? how much was left on my brush between all four sides that's crazy a little goes a long way here with the undercover primer okay let me dry this and and then I'm going to put one more coat on So the undercover primer is a bonding primer, but it also works um, as a really nice base coat. And then it will help when I go to put my other colors on top of this, it will help to hide this black writing underneath. Okay, so I have glazed donut, French macaron, and marshmallow, and I'm going to just do a little blend on top of here. And I think I'm just gonna make some piles of paint on my mat. Oops. <laughs> Squeezed that a little hard, didn't I? <laughs> is the French macaron. Oh, I love that color so much. A little bit of marshmallow. You can see how my mat gets so dirty here, huh? All right, so glazed donuts going down. Got my favorite brush, the short stop. That is what I applied the um, coconut primer with, too. So I'm just going to kind of Get in here, a little, pretty little blend. And I'm just gonna build my color. So it's making kind of a green gray, which is really pretty. I wanna not be able to read that. I still can kind of see the lettering underneath. So there's gonna be some paint layers on here so we can make sure that is all covered up. Okay, I'm gonna dry this and then I'm gonna build on top of it. Bring in some of the marshmallow. 
So the Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint will reactivate. So anything that's wet that's going on top of it, even though I just dried the bottom, it's still reactivating it. At this point, I still wanted to try and blend a little bit, but not a ton. So this is a great way to do it. So I'd like to go in different directions just to create a little bit of texture. And then I like to use my brush in different ways to make different marks with it. So just play around, have fun. All right, so I'm just going to use a little bit of the watermelon rind. And let's see here. What about the mop brush? I'm gonna use a mop brush to add some watermelon rind. And I'm just kind of pouncing some off. Sorry, that was a little bit off camera, but. And I just wanna bring in a little bit. And you can see I'm just kind of twisting and turning my brush. It makes a really, really cute mark. Okay, then I'm gonna take my brush with some marshmallow. I'm just gonna drag it kind of low. Take a little. cover a little bit of it up. I really like how it looks right here though. Okay, I'm just taking some at the very edge of my brush and I'm just flat brushing it.
Okay, I'm doing one coat of the Paint Pixie Meltdown on top because now I'm really good and I don't want these to reactivate at all. So the Meltdown will give it a wax-like finish, which I think is really, really pretty. And it's a nice, strong top coat. So I'm about to go and put a couple other things on top of this. All right, so I have this really, really great stamp set from Iron Orchid Designs, and it's called Le Courier. Um, you can find a link for this in the comments below. And so I'm, you can pull these off individually if you want, but I am going to keep them together, together to make this a little bit easier. And kind of eye up. I'm going to put some ink on about here. So let me pull this backing off. And I'm using my archival ink. It's the uh, Ranger Distress Black Soot. And I'm using this because it is archival, which means it lasts. Right? I want it to last. I'm taking the time to make this. I want to use products that will last, right? So I am just taking the pad itself and inking right on top of the stamps. I'm trying to go pretty quick here. Okay, I'm working fairly quick here because I don't want the ink to dry. And I'm going to just carefully set it on here. And I'm going to press. And pull. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> so cute. All right, so I have this bird transfer. This is from the Iron Orchid Brocante transfer set, and you can find the link to purchase this in the comments below. And I really, really love how this is popping right now. Very, very cool. I love this so much. It's really, really cute. Okay, so I put one coat of the watermelon rind on, on top of the undercover primer. And now I'm just kind of layering on a little bit of the French macaron. This is the bottom of it, so it's not really going to be seen, especially, obviously, if it's sitting on a shelf, right, or your mantle on your fireplace, but um, the sides will be seen. So I just want to get a little, oh, that is too much. Let's put that over here. Okay, I'm going to do one coat of Meltdown on top of the sides here.
one more. So I have used this short stop brush four times now just in this one project. So you see why I have so many. <laughs> I have a ton of them. This is one more coat of Meltdown. You can get all of the Paint Pixie products, including this short stop brush. The link in the comments. Um, for the brush, you're going to go to the Turquoise Iris Collection, and that's where you will find that. But otherwise, this is done, and I think it's so cute. Really quick, easy project. Um, and I really love it. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and I will see you on Friday for another video.